Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you all of my completed pages and current whips for October. Um, so some of these whips will carry over obviously into the new month that we are already in. But let's get started. So this was actually done on a live stream on Sunday. This is Johanna Bassford's Magical Jungle. I was doing a Derwent Ink Tense tutorial. I have all the pencils still out, so I plan to keep working away on that page. Figured I'd get the ones that are on camera out of the way first. Then in Magical Worlds, also Johanna Bassford, also started on a live stream. I have this pumpkin page that I am still working on. I'm actually going to probably finish this one as well as the ink tense one on my silent coloring channel um, just so you can color along but this was like a pink pumpkin that was pretty fun still has a lot of work a uh, lot to be done to be completely honest I forgot it was up here <laughs> until uh, I went to stream okay so I have been working on a ton of hair combos for Hannah Lynn specifically. So this has kind of spanned over the last few months, but I haven't really shown it to you guys. But what I did is I took my copies of Enchanted Faces. I have two of these plus the PDF. I have two of the small, one of the big, and the PDF. I also have two of the small on this one. Um, in fact, it's right. Here's my PDF one. <laughs> So I love sometimes just sitting down and coloring Hannah Lynn hair. I don't care anymore if that's just a whip. I colored the hair and that's all I did. I don't care. And you know what? It's been the most freeing experience of my life. I'm not going to lie. I highly recommend it. So I spent two months when I was in my coloring slump only doing Hannah Lynn hair. And it was glorious. <laughs> I wrote down all the combos. There's quite a few reels on my Instagram and shorts. So I didn't finish this book out as much. I don't think I even touched this one yet. Nope. It was its big sister I did. Okay. So, like I said, I just started going through and coloring the hair. So I will show them to you. As you can see, hair. Hair. I started to color that one because I was like, oh, maybe I'll finish it. Then I didn't. Hair. More hair. Catching a theme. Now some of these look similar, but they're actually different color combos. I was playing with the wacky and the normal and everything in between. Haven't done that one yet. My goal is to get all the hair in this one done by the end of the month. Now granted, I have colored these pages in the mini version either one, two, or three, but these are the three that have been on my desk as I work through them. So I'm just showing you all the cool hair combos. This one was really fun. It'd be good for dragon scales. I was trying some dark blue black combos, lots of purple pink because I tend to do that. There is a video for how to do this one, my galaxy hair. This neon hair I'm not quite sold on, but it is what it is. Yeah, all Prismacolors. I didn't finish that one yet. But yep, even the pinks, I have different combos. Even the browns. This is actually one of my favorite. I don't know, it's just, it's awesome. I like this one too, though. That one wasn't too shabby. That was a fun one. I was trying my flicking method, but it's kind of hard on that paper. This was completed a while ago, so more hair. Look at all that hair. This one was a really fun one. I like this combo. It's one of my faves. Uh, this was a fun one to do as well. I did it more realistic. Did that one. Seriously, it's so cathartic to just color Hannah Lynn hair. All right, and then in the smaller version of that same book, I got started on hair combos. I'm actually gonna go through and same thing, fill out this book all the way through. So let's find the ones just with hair because that's the ones that are finished are from a different time period. 
But I had pulled out the mini book because I was like, I want to work on this one now. Okay, so we have this red hair. Oops. This pink hair. Another pink hair. This one isn't as full. Actually, this page I finished this month. Why didn't I take a picture of that? You know, we're going to take this little doodad here to remind me to take a photo because that was a completed one I did. Started that one. Started that one and then hated it, but hey, whatever. Another hair combo. Catching on there with my, my themes. I think that's it for hair combos in this one. It's a conundrum because I know I have another copy of this book somewhere, but yes. So lots of Hannah Lynn hair. I do have some more whips. So this lovely gal, this is from Kundank's Art. I did the hair with Derwent Pro Color. I'm telling you, there's no pencil like Pro Color. Look at the way it layers. That hair just looks real. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Uh, skin is pretty much almost done. It doesn't look like it probably, but that's because I haven't filled in her lips or her brows or like anything around her. I started with this flower combo and decided I hated it. So I'm going to erase that and make this more fallish color. So hopefully this will be in my November pages. This hair took me forever. I actually took my time flicking all those highlights in because I wanted a nice pretty brown. I love hair. If you're new to my channel, you'll learn that fast. Also, another whip. This is a Yana Prosperina page. I had started it. I have actually colored this one before in a book. So I decided to do a PDF version. But I just need to put on a background. I don't know. All right. I have a completed page. So in Shooting Star, I actually started this on a live stream. I did this one with Artix uh, pencils, and it actually turned out pretty good. The entire thing's with Artix, right down to the background, because I was indeed that lazy. So, um, yeah, that one's pretty much done. Oh, except the star. I was going to make that glittery. It wasn't bad. Artix did pretty good on this paper. Would I have rather done Prisma? Probably, but I'm biased. <laughs> okay. Lots of Teresa Goodridge, but in Country Gardens, I completed this one here. This was with Derwent Ink Tents. You're going to notice a theme coming along here, but everything is in Derwent Ink Tents here. Activated with water brush pens. That's these little doodads. All right, I got one in Country Farms, also a Teresa Goodridge. I did this one. Do you want to guess with what? Ink tents, and I'm on a kick with blue barns. I don't know why I don't. I really don't. Um, it's not quite done though. I want to add some white gel pen to give, you know, like little highlights. So we'll call this one more of a whip. Like I said, here we go. Theme. Okay, and garden gnomes. Started this one with Black Widow. I like Black Widow on these pages. And I just never finished it. That's okay though. And then let's see. Tell which tab comes first. Oh, I think it's this one. Okay. Then I've got this bad boy. The tutorial for this is actually a wood grain tutorial with ink tents. It's on one of my channels. Might be the silent one. Um, I should look that up. And you know what? Actually, I started this color along on my silent channel and didn't finish it, so I should probably do that. Activated with a colorless um, alcohol blender, though. Oh, and then you probably want to see the other one. Then I've got this one with ink tents. I like ink tents on her pages. Uh, that and watercolor pencils. This is also done with a water brush pen. I just kind of got bored of doing apples, as you can see, because a lot of these pages have apples. And I was kind of over it by then. And then in Gnome Sweet Gnome, do you want to guess what this was done with? <laughs> this was done with ink tints. No apples. I just got kind of, I don't know. I was debating on how I wanted to do the clouds and everything else. So I just stopped and never came back. But it is activated with a water brush pen. I had a lot of fun with these colors. 
They're not actually colors I normally use, and that was kind of the point. I purposely picked out Inktense colors that never get love. All right, I do have two portraits. Uh, this one is actually done. She just needs a background. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Again, by Kundink's Art. Did I do any of this on... Nope, I did this one on a live stream. That's right. This one, not. This was with just me. So this is all Prismacolor except the hair. The hair, just by looking at it, I would say that was Black Widow. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this one. I do love to flick colors. So not only do I flick hair, but I flick flower petals and leaves. <laughs> so have, it's just how I do. I don't know. It's me. Um, I need to blend it out a little bit more, but I also need to decide on my background. I'm thinking some, maybe like a very, very light pink. I don't want to take away from here though, and purple would be too much. I might even just do like a off-white or like that aged paperish color from Distress Inks. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But I really need to finish this one because it's pretty. And I actually want to put this on my wall. This gal I did on a live stream showing you guys how to color hair with the cheapest of all pencils, Crayola. Because you can color nice hair with Crayola. Now, I do want to point out some obvious differences. Crayola, similar color combo, by the way. Um, Derwent Pro Color. Pro Color is a artist grade pencil. It's pricey. But honestly, these things last forever because they are so hard. Good luck ever sharpening your way through. I think I, fi yeah, I finally replaced black and grape. And that was like four or five years in. The others are still good to go. And I do a lot of brown. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot smoother. It flicks in a lot better. Um, the pigment is there, but also it's just meant to be layered and create fur and hair effects. Like Pro Color are designed for that, Crayola or not. But that said, this hair was done with Crayola and it looks pretty darn good. Um, I have some touch ups. I do need to do the skin. I had some requests to do skin, so I'm probably going to use this same picture and might as well because then you can go back and follow along for the hair. And then you can do the skin. Now, if you're asking why I didn't color these wild strands of hair, I'm going to erase them because they just look weird. I know there's some wispies here, but for some reason these ones I wasn't feeling. So I'm going to be erasing those and then I'll probably, maybe on my next live stream, do her skin with the colors of the world because I had some requests. Okay. This bad boy is actually underway with, do I even have to say it? Yeah, I'll say it. Derwin Ink Tents. <laughs> so, I have a lot of Derwin Ink Tents whips and fall pages. I love the colors of Derwin Ink Tents. I love Ink Tents in Teresa Goodridge book, especially with the crappy paper. This is water brush activated, which is why the colors are a little bit more vibrant. Um, with the alcohol blender, they don't seem, they're not as vibrant because the alcohol blender is sucking up a lot of that pigment, but I have so many whips. Which brings me to my final whip. This was started on a live stream. Ta -da! With Prismacolor, what I did was I picked two random cards from my color cubes. And then I pulled those colors. Where's my cheat sheet? Oh shoot, I've lost it already. I have a cheat sheet where I wrote down the Prismacolor colors. And that is all I am using. I wanted to get the sheet actually because it's really important. This is like the definition of limited color palette. I have exactly what, 10 colors? These are the only colors I'm using. Originally I was like, oh, maybe I'll pull some lighter shades. Instead, I just started layering. So these flowers here are using quite a bit and I'm using other things to create my shading. Um, you know, like using my dark green to shade as opposed to getting a darker red or, you know, breaking out my espresso. So this is all done only using those colors. And honestly, this page has more depth than anything I've colored 
at any other time. So it's kind of interesting. You can see it popping. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. But I do need to finish it. I have it written down. Um, I have like all of these things that I start on stream and then I put them off to the side for my silent coloring channel and then I just get busy. But I have lots of pages to work on, lots of whips. Um, like I said, I want to finish my Hannah Lynn hair stuff. And any time I'm in a rut, I just instinctively go to Hannah Lynn now. It's just what I do. It's very relaxing. I have decided I don't care if I have whips. If I have 100 whips for the month, whatever. I have 100 whips for the month. But I almost forgot this one. <laughs> this is a completed page I did as a buddy color shock because I am notorious for failing to finish buddy colors. It's a Yana Prosperina page and I did it with Erica from Elm Colors because we are both big Yana fans. And I have had come just off like my Hannah Lynn kick and I worked on this and she went like all out. She added trees and little sparkle. Hers is gorgeous. But it's on Instagram um, and hers looks so much better. <laughs> but yeah, all I can say is if you're in a rut, find an element that you enjoy coloring and just color that in any book. If you freaking enjoy pumpkins, just start coloring pumpkins in every book and in different colors. I do have my pumpkin combo page too if you want to use that for ideas. But just start coloring the object. And then if you're bored, leave it. I used to stress about whips and now I'm like, why? Who cares? I don't care that like all my Hannah Lynn books right now are pretty much hair. I have never been more relaxed. And in fact, now I'm kind of like itching to go fill out the rest of that book that's not done. So I guess we know what I'll be doing this week. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you want to see this on Sunday's live stream. We'll use the skin tones. And yeah, hopefully I can finish this bad boy soon too. Fall color. It's got berries and stuff. This would be perfect. I just got to get rid of that ugly combo I was trying. I don't know what I was doing. But I would love to do that. It'd be fun. Plus I can kind of show you the skin tone. And then I think these are piercings here. It's hard to tell. But it would be fun to do this entire thing. And because I've already done the hair in Crayola via live stream, it'll make it a lot easier. So thank you everyone. I hope you had a great month of coloring. And until next time, take care. Bye now.